So I'm here with Island head coach Joe Salerno. Joe, you're the most winningest coach in MBLC history. Um, talk a bit about that. I mean, it's quite an achievement. To say. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I think I, I give an awful lot of credit to, to the Storm organization, you know, itself. Um, I think just having the, the longevity that I've had with them and, and keeping a consistency, you know, with myself and our coaching staff all together, you know, I think that's a, a big reason why we've been successful as an organization over the last three or four years. So, um, you know, it's a nice milestone to hit. You know, it's something I am, I'm proud of, um, you know, but there was a lot of people, you know, like I said, my assistant coaches, the ownership group, uh, my wife, <laughs> you know, people like that that supported me through it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice thing to have. And looking back to that first year, I know you guys didn't have the best year, but that patience in that ownership group really proved to be very valuable for this brand. Oh, no question at all. I mean, coming into that first season, I think I was hired about about three weeks before training camp started, you know, so I really didn't have the opportunity to, to put the players in place that we may have wanted to. Uh, we went 12 and 24 that season, you know, and that's a record a lot of coaches could get fired for, you know, so Duncan Shaw, uh, he just showed a lot of faith and he believed in me and he brought me back. And, you know, since then it's, uh, it's worked out pretty well for, for all of us. When it comes to the on-court stuff, we've told we've been told for years that the league's very much like a guard-heavy league. We've been told certain things, but the league's been progressing so much. What are some big technical things that have changed with the league in terms of how these teams are playing and how these players are playing? Yeah, I think really it's just it's just the talent overall. Um, and I think one thing you, you have found now is is basketball in general over the last ten years. Uh, bigger players are becoming more skilled, and, and I think that's something you see in this league with, with guys six seven, six eight that, that can play the, the three or the two three. Um, that changes the game a lot. It changes the game from you know more. It's more of an up and down game, and, and it seems like it's more guard heavy because those players um, it seems like there's four guards on the court all the time. You know, so that's one thing I think. Just that the talent overall, the league continues to get better every single year. We're seeing higher end college players coming in uh, from some of the best programs, you know, in the United States. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really a, it's a tough league for sure. One last question. Most talented player that you got to coach over these five years? Uh, oh, man. Nick Akori, maybe? Well, you know, Nick, Nick would be right there. He would certainly be right there. Um, you know, Nick Akori comes to mind. Brandon Robinson, you know, I had him for a couple years as well. Uh, Omari Johnson, who, who's playing in the, uh, the D League right now. He was with the Trailblazers training camp. But if you're talking pure talent, um, you know, Josiah Turner, you know, the guy who we actually just recently picked up, played for me three years ago, uh, just an extremely talented point guard. So I've had a lot of them over the past. I've been very fortunate to have those guys. And, uh, you know, it's a big record, a big reason why, why you know, that record was, was broken, those guys. Perfect. All right, well, that was just up. Thank you very much. Uh, back to you guys.